there is a constant recycling of chemicals that is going on on the planet. Now, microorganisms such as bacteria play a really key role in this because what they do is they break down complex organic molecules and return the elements to the environment so they then can be reused again. Elements on the planet are recycled between the living world and the non-living world. So they, elements may be in the air, the water, and the soil, and the rocks, but they could end up getting back in, into living organisms, but then they might end up getting returned back to the air and the soil and the rocks again. So they can, elements can move between the living and the non-living. We're gonna look at two specific elements and how they are recycled. We're gonna look at carbon and nitrogen. It's a very, very important element, nitrogen. You need it to make many biological compounds, such as DNA, proteins, amino acids, and vitamins. The thing is, 78% of the air is nitrogen. So most of our atmosphere is nitrogen, but it's so unreactive, and we can't do anything with it. We breathe it in, we breathe it out, we do nothing with it. But bacteria can convert into a useful form called nitrates. So let's start off again with our gas in the air. Now this time we're gonna start with nitrogen gas. Now the nitrogen gas is converted into nitrates in a process called nitrogen fixation. This is done by bacteria in the soil or root nodules of particular plants called legumes that have these very special bacteria living inside their roots. Nitrogen fixation also occurs when lightning strikes the ground. You get nit nitrogen gas being fixed as well. But the point is that bacteria and lightning can cause nitrogen gas to be converted into nitrates and plants can use nitrates. They can't use nitrogen gas, but they can use the nitrates to, and they can use it to make proteins and other structures. Now again, then that can get passed along the food chain via feeding. Animals and plants can die or excrete and those nitrates that are stored in there can get returned to the soil in the form of ammonia. And there are some bacteria that, that do that process as well. These are decomposing bacteria, our decomposers that can break down dead organisms and release that nitrogen in the form of ammonia back into the soil. Then that ammonia needs to be converted back to nitrates, which happens in a couple of stages. Uh, it goes to nitrites first, then it goes to nitrates. And again, that's done by some particular type of bacteria called nitrifying bacteria. Nitrates can also get returned back to nitrogen gas as well. And that is what we call denitrification. Uh, and so there's one other type of bacteria that does that, and those are the denitrifying bacteria. So in total, we've got four types of bacteria involved in the nitrogen cycle. We've got the nitrogen fixing bacteria, that convert the gas into nitrates. We've got the decomposing bacteria that convert the nitrates in the dead organism into the ammonia in the soil. We've got nitrifying bacteria that can then take that ammonia back to the useful nitrates. And then we also have denitrifying bacteria that can convert excess nitrates in the soil back into nitrogen gas in the atmosphere. So you need to know these four types of bacteria and what they do in the nitrogen cycle.